Oops, if I unmute my source, there we go. Hi, everybody. That, that should sound better now that I actually unmuted myself. Cool. Um, yeah, welcome to my first stream. Um, things might get a little rough, as you could tell by the audio already not working. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we also run into some game audio stuff. Just feel free to let me know, shout it out, and I will um, do what I can to wildly correct it as fast as I possibly can. In the meantime, uh, I'm going to be streaming some Stardew Valley, uh, starting a new game from scratch. I am currently hyper fixated on Stardew Valley. Uh, it is a game that I have been playing far too much lately, and I, I've even tried throwing like Elden Ring in the mix, and that hasn't stuck. I, I finished Horizon Forbidden West and immediately went into this and have not looked back. Um, so I am constantly thinking about Stardew Valley right now. So I am open to some uh, to some tips. I'm open to um, suggestions on, on how to do things different. I have just gotten through uh, year one on my, my main file. Uh, but this stream, I'm starting up a new, new file, and it's going to be completely chat-driven. Uh, so we are picking out the farm. You, you all are picking out the farm. You all are picking out the way the farmer looks, um, who we romance, what we do. All of that is up to chat. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. All right. So, the first question on everyone's mind, who is our farmer? What 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 should we name our farmer? I, I having seen quite a bit of Nathan from Reckless Attacks, uh, Nuzlocke streams, and Pokemon. All of the Pokemon in that game have a consistent naming scheme. Unfortunately, we really only get to well, I guess we get to name chickens and cows and and things. Um, the magic missile is the first suggestion. No, it does not. Ecaw Crowman. I'm I'm here for it. I could do Ecaw Crow. That that's a thing. Um I I like that uh Nathan's suggestions are continuously getting longer and longer. I, I feel like that is is really solving the, the issue that we're running into um of, of limited character space. Uh, we do have a farm name, so maybe something magic missile. Farm. That that technically works. Um, I I really I I really appreciate your all of your brevity in in the uh, names that you're coming up with. It really is is succinct to the point. Really, uh, really gets things there. Um, what is Yeecaw Crow's favorite thing? Frank, Frank, okay. I am Keltrop Core. Keltrop Core is good. Crows. But we're we're off to, to some good suggestions here. Keltrop I, I think Danny has the winner there. Keltrop Core Crow. It's a mouthful. Alright. Um is Yika a cat or a dog person? Ooh, I like Nathan's suggestion. Uh, I feel like that's a, a good, subtle suggestion. I'm going to try and kick on some music down pretty low. If it's too loud, or if you can even hear it at all, let me know. Um, Yeekaw is a cat person. Okay. I'm good with a cat person. Music could go up a bit. Okay. I just turned it back on because I realized it was really silent and I wasn't here for it. So cool. Cat person. Alright, let's let's assign how Yika looks. Um pretty generic RPG hero farmer going on right now. Um change that up. Let's I do like the uh, the 
the hair color on that one. What about bluish? There for that. I, I guess with all these skin options, um, Yika could be non-human. Um, perhaps even with a skin color like this, maybe not even alive. Um, I feel like there, there's some some backstory things to, to figure out with Yika Crow. Where, why is Yika Crow working at Joja? Where where did they come from? Are we are we already in hot tiefling time? I feel like it, it's always kind of hot tiefling time somewhere. It's it's like it's five o'clock somewhere, happy hour. Oh, there's so many hairstyles. So we already have a theme song for Yeehaw Crow. Um, that didn't take long. Danny is on a roll with these suggestions. Feeling like uh, you don't get to really change the the outfits, especially the pants, all that often um, in Stardew Valley. You, it's not seasonal clothing. It's just here are your clothes. Um, I feel like this is kind of a a link kind of kind of deal going on. Kind of feeling it. Um, hmm. Ooh, that beard is pretty powerful. Is that a, a mustache? It is a mustache. I think we're going to go Alright, that is a look Alright, thoughts on Yeehaw Crow? Are we, uh we looking good here. We got some blue hair. Kind of an undead tint to the skin. Could be hot teethling vibes, uh, depending on the skin color. Could go even more colorful. There we go. Hot blue teethling with a sci-fi visor vibes. I think I think we might be ready for Yikakuro's debut here. All right, final decision. What kind of farm? So there, there's a standard farm, uh, nothing too exciting there. Uh, for those who have not played Stardew Valley in the past or, or are familiar with it, uh, the farm really determines how much land you have available to farm on. Uh, all of these have, have different um, pluses and minuses. Uh, Riverland farm, um, overall your farming land is, is pretty small. You, you don't get a ton, uh, but you get to fish. Um, I am a fan of the forest farm. This is the one I am currently uh, running on my, my other file. Um, hilltop, I've never played it. Rocky terrain sounds interesting. Wilderness, um, I Fending off monsters every night doesn't sound super fun. Four Corners Farm, I've seen done well. I have not played. And Beach Farm is a pain because you don't get to use sprinklers. But it is on a nice beach. Uh, we got the the vote for Forest from, from Danny. 
Uh, I particularly like that Forest Farm gives you a lot of foraging uh, capabilities right from the get-go. I think that might be our, our go-to. We will have a, a beach episode. Um, we just have to wait for our, our uh, grandpa here to pass, um, and then we'll have a, a beach episode in a bit. Also, hi, Kev. I probably should have hit skip intro, but it's more cinematic to do the full thing. Danny gets it. You just gotta wait for... Wait for uh, Grandpa to... Move on to better life. Also, what is Grandpa's backstory? He's got this scimitar up here just hanging over the mint. That's not a common... Like, even for people who have swords hanging above their fireplace, which in and of itself isn't very common. Where did the scimitar... Is Grandpa a pirate? I, I'm... Must be a level 20 adventure. So, uh, as Grandpa is Grandpa Joeing, a um, couple of mods I have installed um, because this is not a full vanilla playthrough. There are just some kind of quality of life mods. Um, the. The mods that I have are all non-impactful to gameplay. Uh, I have a look up anything mod, which is basically add the wiki to the game. Um, I have some overlay mods that kind of help with um, with knowing the ranges of like sprinklers and um, scarecrows and, and things. Um, and I think, oh, uh, I added a wind mod that, that makes it windier. Um, because, I don't know, more graphic effects are fun. Um, I, I feel like if this bus is running to Stardew Valley, why is Pam's bus not why is it that there's never been a bus that runs through Stardew Valley? Did we charter our own bus? I wonder if Grandpa left that for us in his will. Alright. You must be Yeekaw Crow. Damn right I am.
Yeah, Nathan, I'm with you. Robin is is one of the better characters in my opinion. Also, I will uh, put this out there out, out there now. Um, Pierre sucks. <laughs> To it. Oh, and I also have experience bars up at the top left to give me a heads up on when I'm gonna um, level up. Alright. Time to go look around and see if I can find some forgeables. Meet some people. So the the mods that I have, I mentioned I have the XP bars up here in the top left. Uh, the look up anything um, mod, I can hit F1 and it pops up the details about a leak as far as including who likes it, who loves it, uh, what recipes it's used in, um, what what it's needed for, if any of the, uh, the bundles. And uh, it has saved so much time. Talk to a friend of 
minus. Just a genuinely nice person. What's everyone else up to, up to today? I feel like it's been a, a week for everyone. Surprise pizza even better. So in my other game, uh, I ended up marrying Abigail. Um, the, the different part events that came with Abigail were, were pretty good. Um, I might want to go a different route this time. That was a little almost condescending what, what Jody says. Oh, I you're not what I expected you to be. Like, what, what do you expect? Like I'm Am I not living up to your standards? So in addition to Stardew Valley, I have a, huge, a vast Steam library of games that I have not played. Um, I think I might be up for streaming quite a bit more often. Um, whether it be continuing this this file on, on stream or um, trying out some of the other games in my Steam library. Or, uh, as I got set up yesterday, um, playing any of the console games that I have sitting on my shelf. Um, and if you can t t see over my, my left corner, there's a, uh, a stack of, or a, a small bookshelf of, um, console games and, or consoles and a record player and, and stuff back there. Um, there's a PS2, PS3, PS4, N64, Wii, and 360 back there. And um, all of them are, are hooked up and ready to go for streaming. I think I might uh, 
might start streaming some more of that content soon. Um, I think the, the first kind of console game I'll probably end up doing a stream of will probably be uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Uh, in my opinion, it is the best of the Zelda games. And I am a huge fan of the series in general. So I think that might be the logical next step is to fire up the Wii again and uh, play some Twilight Princess. I like games like Stardew and um, it happens a lot with, with games like Civ um, that you'll, you'll play for what you think is 20 minutes and you look down and it's been two hours. I feel like that's a sign that the game has a good grip on your attention. It's, uh, it's always not, uh, a good sign, in my opinion. A game can hold attention for that long. I think I could probably get another couple trees down with that energy boost. Actually, no, I'm gonna start planting. Eat more seeds. start here. figure out that you could just go over here and that there's stuff to explore this way. Dandelions or daffodils. Set up the saloon and see if I can talk to a couple more people and then call it a night. Hi, Clint. I don't know you either, Shane. That's why I am talking to you, so I can get to know you.
I think that's probably all I'm able to do on night one. I feel like the first day of Stardew Valley, or first day in Stardew Valley, is uh, pretty uneventful. book. Alright, we have a guest appearance by, well, we had a guest appearance by Daisy. The German Shepherd who might be wandering around in the background as she decides to move from floor to bed back to floor. Selling these fish too. I feel like that's probably not the best motto. If it smells, it sells. Um, I, I feel like you could probably workshop that and come up with a, a better one. But I, I just moved here. I'm, I'm... does mean that I'm gonna any fish that I catch I should have dropped off all my tools. I... Okay.
Roger. It doesn't make sense to try and fish with a full inventory. Who else am I missing? Willie, Sam, and Sebastian. Should be good. My plan is just to go fishing for the rest of the day. Oh, I do need to chop down some trees. Continue to build up my foraging skill. the other facets of this game. Uh, fishing does require you to just like slow down and go at game speeds. Whereas farming and uh, mining and foraging and combat, like all of all of the other skills in this game, you can go at your own pace. Mines per day, you can uh, continue to explore and um, fight things for combat skill, forage per day. But a good part of fishing is just like dropping your line and letting it sit. And, uh, I find that I, I can be impatient sometimes, and I don't want to do that. Also, then you deal with this nonsense. I'm 
not giving up on this fish. There we go. All that for a chip. It took a while, but I, I did eventually get that though. I have some bait. I can't use the bait, but I have some. Alright, that fishing spot seems to be tapped. Jump over to these bubbles. Job. Ah, what's the treasure chest for a cart? Geodes. After four, so I'm not gonna be able to like, get into the Oh no, I don't have enough money. I think an important question is that we'll have to answer fairly early on because it'll determine how the rest of this playthrough goes. Is is Yika Crow still a Joja person? And are they going to go the JoJo membership route and uh, essentially destroy the community center? Or are they going to bring life back to the community center through the bundles? I think that's a important question we should ha have answered before we jump too far into the rest of the game. Help us, Sebastian came out of his room.
another one of the mods that I have installed, which is going to come really ha in handy right now, is a map overlay that shows me where everybody is on the map and how long they're going to be there. Um, because trying to find people in this game can be very obnoxious. Um, so, Sam is over here. Let's go nipple Sam. I too like to sometimes just sit behind a bush. Feels normal. Sam is a normal one. And I would imagine Willie has closed up shop. There he is. So the only villager left to meet is Sebastian. So the the mods and it Looking at the, the window here of Sturdy Valley, it says I have 11 mods installed. We've got the uh, look up anything, which is helpful. Um, if I hit F3, that puts everything in a grid. Um, so I can see the individual lines of where everything lines up. Uh, but that is part of an overlay mod that I have that I, I think only works on the farm. Oh no. F2, that's what it is. Uh, F2 shows what uh, what I have, uh, or where I can walk and where I can access. Uh, and pulls up a, a number of overlays of like where the sprinklers are and um, where I can build. Bee house coverage, Junimo hut coverage, scarecrow coverage, sprinklers ready to harvest and ready for watering crops, all sorts of helpful information. Um, things that, like, just by looking at a, um, looking at something I could probably pick up, um, but I find it easier just to have that overlay. Well, I've hit over exhaustion. I guess it's time to head back home. Doing a quick check to make sure I have fish set aside for community center. That one's not used in the community center. That's not used. The sunfish is. The rest of these fish I can sell. Two gold. Not bad. Wrong button. Sorry, look today. There we 
happy. Okay. Like very happy. Oh, you son of a... Cat mouse is open. Everybody loves cat mouse. Uh, yeah, I'll stop and get the hoe. I, I had an internal conflict there. Do I go back? Is it? Am I too far? I think I'm probably too far to go back and get the hoe. You know what? I'll just go back and get the hoe. All that for stone. Next time I won't give in to the internal conflict. I'll just give up. Move on. Lily wants some seaweed. I'm sure. There are some strange requests that villagers make. Um, I've seen several of like, I really need a pike to rub on my teeth. Can you hook me up? And uh, I'm, I'm really just, I'm not, I don't want to yuck anybody's yum, but why? Why, why rub pike on your teeth? What is the benefit? Not off to a great start with the fishing today. for the river. Sebastian is currently at home. Thank you, Nathan. It is currently a fantastic first stream in my opinion. I'm having a ton of fun. have a little bit of a daisy um, cameo. See the ears next to my shoulder.
stream feels like it's going pretty well. Um, I'm having fun. Um, I'm not doing great at fishing today, but it's kind of how this game works. But yeah, the stream, I feel like it's going pretty well. So far, no major technical issues. And Stardew Valley has been up on the screen for most of it, so I think it's a good sign. How's prep going? seaweed, so hopefully go actually do that. Hey, it's Sebastian! Yay! I have met everybody. When you took over the campaign, Ali, from previous DM, did you get access to all of those notes immediately, or was it just something that you have kind of picked up over time? Mm -hmm. Also, trying to sort through another person's notes does not sound like my idea of a good time. Especially if I'm handing off my notes to somebody else, a lot of it is going to be incoherent. Stuff that I can't even pick up once I stop writing it. I don't need to answer. Hello, Geekar Pro. I don't think that name is going to get... Cockrow is a very, very good name. Eighteen hundred is up by the way, Rod. Might have to get that tomorrow if I make enough money. I think this will probably be another community center run uh, versus Jojo run. Um, the Jojo run is, um, I, I feel like it, it isn't as, uh, fulfilling in, in some ways. Like, all you're doing is paying to, to unlock the bundles and unlock the, the next steps. Um, which means it could be done, theoretically, earlier, but, yeah, it's Having to catch every single fish or whatever is a fun challenge. And now I have the, uh, the I, I now have an audience to, to do it in front of, uh, which makes it even less daunting. And yes, Ali, I think uh, picking up or, no, Emil. Right. I am losing my, uh... I am not focused on usernames right now. I've been thinking the game mastermind is Ali, but that's not the case. That's Emil. Emil! That's not... I, I give up. I'm...
yeah, that's, that's true. Um, both just sources of, of chaos. Just in your own way. Um, yeah, I think you should pick up Sturdy Valley again. I hope that's me talking from being hyper fixated on it for about a month and a half now. And, um, it probably doesn't reflect a, a unbiased opinion. It is, I would say, pretty heavily biased, actually. Good old Linus saying, I don't know you well enough to trust you. That's, that's smart. You gotta wait for for people to like, get to know you before you trust them. That's, that's good thinking. Well, I mean, if you do pick it up and somehow you manage to find time to play at like 4 or 5 a.m. your time, um, let me know. We could start up a co-op game. Um, I have yet to play co-op and I feel like it would be fun but chaos. I got excited because I saw a leak on the other side of the, uh, the lake here, and I completely forgot that there were boulders in the way. Not the mining people still aren't done yet. some fun. Mm -hmm. I will just continue to pick up trash like a good citizen. take some cookies out of the trash. That is going to be how I roll, I guess.
I want more hats. up in fishing. Alright, jumping into day four. Um, actually, instead of showing, uh, showing day four, I'm going to bounce back to the title screen. Give a quick walkthrough of my other farm, my main farm. And, uh, and I think I, that will be the stream for the day. So, I am in the midst of uh, working on some house renovations, and it'll be the, the next um, renovation here pretty soon. Okay, Abigail gave me a void essence because it reminded me of her. Um, it is summer in year two. Um, I'm not going to bother picking up anything because I'm not going to play a whole day here, but um, got a couple seed makers and some some kegs right there in the mushroom forest already starting. Got my, I have fully completed the community center and am working on replacing all of these with iridium sprinklers so that um, I can plant more, but most of it is star fruit. Um, with the plan to continue building out more kegs here for my first chrysalarium. And, uh, things in here, um, gems and minerals and things. A uh, small seasonal farm, some lightning rods and things. Uh, this is also the forest map, uh, similar to the one we were just playing. Um, I used this area to kind of tuck away the barn and the coop, um, just so that they're all taken care of. They are both the deluxe with the auto feeders and then the auto grabbers in place here that I just used to um, feed the machines here. And a nice collection of cows and goats and ducks and chickens. Um, I'll be picking up a rabbit and a pig here pretty soon. Um, I have unlocked the... Or I've completed the, the regular mines. I've gone a couple levels down in the skull cavern, but not too terribly far and have just started collecting all of the materials needed to, spoilers, uh, repair Willy's boat. Um, I am two out of five battery packs and 107 hardwood, and um, I need to do some iridium farming here pretty soon. Um, but that will get me over to um, the next location, and I'll continue farming there. Um, 
I am in the process of growing some beets so that I can complete the extra key um, quest line. Um, because one of the steps is to put beets into Linus's fridge, which seems legit and not at all sketchy. But just like everything that. Uh, speaking of not at all sketchy, what is. What's going on back here? Um, yeah, uh, just a lot of, a lot of things to, to continue doing even this, this far into the game. I put 48 hours into this save, I think I said, um, which has been a lot over the last month and a half with a, uh, with the schedule that I've had going on. So, um, yeah, that's that's my regular farm that I've been putting on a playthrough. Um, my intention is to continue for, uh, building out a bunch of beehives out here um, and have this kind of be a bee house area. Um, I initially wanted this, this kind of lake to be surrounded by trees uh, and have that all be full of tappers, but I have since put all of my trees in the desert. Um, they grow just as well, and it clears up so much room on the farm so that I have plenty of room to expand and uh, continue farming. Um, but I'm, I'm currently on the loop of continuing to, to put up uh, Continuing to build so that my my daily income, daily revenue is uh, it continues to grow. Um, I am level eight at least in most things. Uh, I've got the bear's knowledge. Um, there are a lot of things that I can still do, especially in the village. There are a lot of people that I can friend. Um, Shane is still too adversarial to really get anywhere, um, but I at least have, have unlocked pretty much the whole map um, that is at least represented here. Um, and yeah, it's been a lot of fun. It's, like I said, been my hyperfixation, uh, something that I've, I've just constantly been thinking about and thinking about different ways to... to approach things and, and to build things and I, I still see myself playing this for, for quite some time. Um, so yeah, um, thank you all for um, for coming and hanging out during my my first stream. I, I really, really appreciate it. And uh, I hope to do this. I'm Hoping to, to potentially do this around this time most Saturdays. Uh, I think that's going to be my my time slot of choice. But we'll see how um, how things go if if that's something I can consistently do. Uh, but having a, a toddler can throw a wrench into even the best laid plans for for scheduling. Um, so we'll see. Uh, but until then, I will. Uh, Talk to you all later. Thank you.